Hang on. Let them come to us. Come on, let's do it. You picked a bloody good day for this, didn't you? How's it going, Dicko? And what's this big girl doing here? Matter of fact, Sarge, Lucky's first in the door. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> you got something to tell us, Dicko? You've been sitting here pulling your plonker all night. Oh, maybe I have. When was the last time you went in a raid? About three quarters of an hour ago. You and Bust like riding a bike, Dicko. You never forget how. <laughs> Are they still better down? Yeah, target's in place. Sir. Lights went out about one in Fergie's room, that's second on the right. And the girls down the back, third on the left. Uh, what about the minder? Gonzo, still on holidays. You sure about that? Gonzo, no likelihood resist the rest, no firearms. I like it. Hey, anyone who can't talk Spanish and tap dance is a poofta. Ole! Are you right, Sarge? <laughs> All set? Yeah, let's do it. Hey. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Don't you do that in me? Did he come with you? Let's <laughs> get out of here. What are you doing with a shotgun, hey? Yeah, that's right, I'm a copper. You know Pancho and Stash from the drug squad, don't you? Get him dressed. <laughs> Jesus, mate, how long since you had the call? You said no firearms. Yeah, what did you say? Don't move, police. You say, police, don't move. And you block my view. Where have you been, senior sergeant? Don't say a bloody word. Just get us some dax, will you? <laughs> Jacqueline? Your friend's called a Jackie? There's a man who works here, Gonzo. He works for your brother. Where is he? Oh, sweetheart. Okay, come on, let's go. Let's go. Good girl. Let's go. Just relax. Just relax. All right, come on. Let, let go of your arms. Give me your arms. Lean back. Let go. You OK? What the hell happened? I do not want to do that again. I can't believe it. Fergie with a gun. Yeah, something's wrong. Give me half an hour to look around. You're not married. Now you know why. Well, we're up early. Oh, here we all were. Just shaking the tree to see what'll fall out. Double act with the druggies, hit the dealers. Four in the net, one to come. Anything else you haven't picked up on already? Yes, your sauce. Was this on a lead? 
What do you want, Ball? There's an academy graduation this morning. I'm going to have to front the deputy commissioner. I'd like to give him something. It's been nine weeks and three days, and all we've got is a face fit of some turd who might, might have been involved. Was involved. I'll back it in any time, any odds. Do we have anything to dress up for the DC? So I can say, look, sir, some to take back the top floor. We've got a clean skin with at least one mate. Now, we've linked them to rape, multiple hold-ups. I reckon some of the proceeds went to finance the bomb. And maybe some of it went to drugs, given the fact that we're dealing with crazies who are probably users. Now, if that's not enough for the DC, you can hit the streets and find them himself. Information, anything you can squeeze out of them. So play it smart. Don't give them any idea what you're after. Don't show them your hand. And for God's sake, don't mention explosives. As far as they're concerned, we're all part of the drug squad, not just George and the boys. If they suss, it's too bad. But you give them nothing, take them nowhere, keep them guessing. We're after car theft, armed hold-up, and possible violence against police. And don't forget why we're here. Can we show it? Not yet, Wally's concerned about the bigger picture. He's got a neon light on his desk that flashes rules of evidence. Who am I to argue with the superintendent? OK, just hit the pricks with whatever we've got. Aid and abet, conspiracy, you blokes should be able to help with that. We've got a file on outstanding charges this big. OK, there you go. Who said the druggies were crooked? Come on, that's it. Thanks, Lockie. I thought I was going to have to do that myself. Well, after what he pulled this morning, you're lucky I'm here at all. Come on, Lockie, chill out, will you? No firearms, no resistance, no violence. You did a great bloody job of setting that one up, didn't you? Mate, how many times do I say I'm sorry? Fergie's never carried a gun in yeah, his well, life. Yeah, you were wrong. I know I got it wrong. Yeah, he got forget, it wrong. Forget. Point is, Fergie got it wrong. So let's just find out why. If you'd have broken the skin, you'd be dead right now. Oh. Oh. oh, man, I swear, I didn't hope it was you guys. Well, next time you better have your head straight. I wouldn't rip the cops, man. You know that. Well, if you're looking at AIDS, you got nothing to lose, have you? <laughs> You're quite comfortable, Mr. Washington. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Record of interview between Detective Sergeant Peter Faithful and James Rangi Washington at the Major Crime Squad offices on the 19th of September. It was not a shotgun. What was it then? It was an elephant gun. It was a double barreled 500 caliber express sporting gun. Yeah, rifle. yeah, we're both saying the same thing. It's a bloody cannon. And in legal jargon, it boils down to using a firearm to prevent lawful apprehension. Its use will be the subject of criminal proceedings. Now, before I caution you and get into all that shit, let's talk about this. What's the problem? There's no problem. Oh, come on, Fergie. It's obvious you're scared of something. What? Oh, I'm not scared. I'm safe here, aren't I? <laughs> oh, OK. I suppose I'll just have to tell you. I've been cheating on my boyfriend, and I think he's gunning for me. He ain't the only one, pal. Fergie, I happen to know you don't have a boyfriend. You cruise the beats on Thursday nights, and the rest is strictly business. Now, what is the problem? You don't want to meet him? You're going to meet the end of my fist if you don't get serious, girly. Oh, the good cop, bad cop? Routine needs a little work, boys. OK. Let's try again, shall we? You're a mid-range dealer, 30 a week. You've never carried a weapon in your life. All of a sudden, you start sleeping with a shoddy under the... All right, elephant gun under the bed. Doesn't make sense, Fergie. You pay for protection. Where's Gonzo? I think he went to a Harley Davidson swap meet in Newcastle. 10,000 comedians out of work and this dickhead throws his hat in the ring. You had heavy-duty aggro from someone and you let Gonzo walk out. Gonzo's a big boy. He does what he wants. You holding some good gear at home, Fergie, eh? <laughs> you won't find a thing. I wouldn't bet on that. Oof. Go piss in your pants. 
Hey, Happy, you want to babysit Fergie for us? Yeah. Thanks, mate. Tear his bloody head off. Okay, so you pissed your pants so what? It's happened to all of us. Come on. That's a lot more than my dad's back there. Oh, Lockie, you got a moment? Looks to me he was doing about 38 a week, all He's false names, of course, VCR. but I can cross check and see if I can turn anything up under aliases. Don't you love dealers? Put an accountant to shame. He just to say there was no junk found on the premises. The sniffer dogs went right through it. Cash? No, we searched the entire place. Maybe he didn't look hard enough. Maybe he's expecting to be ripped off. So why wasn't Gonzo around? Last time he goes first in the door. You're right, son. You wear it. So what Fergie have to say? Not a lot. You count for Gonzo? Didn't even try. So what have we got? Fergie with an elephant gun and no incriminating evidence on the premises. And no heavy. Maybe we'd better have a chat with Gonzo. If we can find him. Shouldn't be difficult. You knew him for 18 months. Exactly. Exactly what? Well, I knew him when I was undercover. He doesn't know I'm a cop. You hope. Hey, just a minute. Why can't Mick go out and do this? Mick's busy. What about Peter? Badly injured. But I'm the informant. I'm minding Fergie. I'll do that for you. It's pretty dodgy sending me back onto the streets now. I mean, word's bound to have spread that I'm unhealthy to be around. We can't be sure of that, can we? No, I guess not, but might be a painful way of finding out, sir. You're all we've got, sir. He's not coming. Mark's got him this morning. He's busted. Shit! What are you doing here? Looking for you. What have you got? Nothing. I'm after Gonzo. You know where he yeah, is? That bastard. He tried to screw me for half a lid. He's a real sweetheart. At least he's got it. You got wheels? Yeah. All right, I'll come with you. No, you just tell me where he is. If I get lucky, I'll be oh, back. Oh, yeah, sure. Why should I trust you? Oh, come on. Get out of here. Bloody junkies. Listen, man, do yourself get a favor. Out of here. Just tell me where he is. I'm not I'll get telling some you shit, nothing, all right? Listen, if I let you down before, what do you do? Hang around here you all day, get here, You come back? Yes. You promise me you come back? I told you I'll come back. Tied to the chair, is he? Fergie. We've let him sweat long enough, don't you think? In our ass layers, boss. I'm not the informant. Whose idea was it to go through the door first? I know it was Lazarus Ray, but your senior sergeant, whose idea? Mine. Right, so you got no one to blame but yourself. I was left hanging like a shag on a rock. The whole setup was a bloody joke. So what? You were first through the door on a level two raid. You should have been ready for anything. He said no but firearms. You were, were you? You'll have my report in half an hour, I said. I don't want your report, Lockie. I want you to tell me what happens next time. Well, I don't know if there's going to be a next time. I don't know how it happened. But when I went through that door and saw that bloody cannon, I... I lost it. I let one through to the keeper. And you know as well as I do, you can't do that and keep the respect of these blokes. Next time they'll be thinking, do I go through the door with this wanker or what? Do I trust him? Do I lay my life on the line? So what do you tell him? If I was looking at me right now, I'd feel just... contempt. You might as well have me pissed right off this squad. If that's how you feel, Lockie, I won't stand in your way. Put it in your report after we deal with Fergie.
been divorced since we met last. Congratulations. She took that little table you sold me, remember? Oh, it's Baltic pine. Nice piece. She thought so. She wouldn't believe the lovely patina came from you whacking the thing with a fist wrapped in chain mail. That's how they do it, you know. They take these tables out the back room and belt the hell out of them till they get that nice weathered look. Pity you didn't stick to tables. Today's moral lecture, the corruption of innocence. What the hell would you know about innocence, eh? Fergie's right, Sergeant. Talk would be a waste of time. We know how he is, we know what he does, we know everything about him, right? Right. I've been involved in another matter, Fergie. My mm, Serious business. But when the drug squad told me about this morning, I made time for you. You're in deep shit. Doesn't look good, Fergie. I grant you a top seal could do something with trafficking and resist arrest, but not with assault by a weapon. Nah, come on. He tried to shoot me with one of these. That's right, that makes it attempted murder. Oh, bullshit! I didn't know you were cops, I thought that... Who did you think it was, Fergie? Mother Teresa. Bloody faggot. Just give me half an hour with that poof I'll stick him in a locker and chuck him down the stairs. At least I'd go out on a high note. He's a tough boy, this one. He's got guts. If he doesn't want to talk, he won't. Fergie and I go back a long way. I knew him before his mother died. She was the only person he cared about. And his sister. You listening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you get a good look at the girl? No, but Megan reckons she's got a room, looks like a bloody altar. Well, if he's as touchy about her as he is about his mum, that's where to hit him. Count me out. Because I'm about to lose it with that little toe rag. No, you're not. Mate, good Where to see you. Where you been, Yanni? Oh, you know, here and there. Up north. Coffs Harbour, mostly. Yeah, well, I don't think I should talk to you. No? Well, maybe I better start on you, eh? It's full of... Don't try to weasel out of it, mate. Mate, I don't know what you're talking you about. You sold me the bloody thing. Oh, you mean the car? Yeah, well, it's a load of shit. It's got rust in every panel. It's not worth a friggin' cracker. Yeah, well, listen, let's call it quits, eh? You don't know me nothing. Oh, that's nice, mate. Still is you way ahead. You know, well, what do you want me to do? I mean, you bought the car in good faith. The money's gone. I can't pay you back, mate. Well, maybe we can work something out, eh? Sure. I'm a busy man, Fergie. I've got bigger fish to fry. Information, that's all they're after. If you can't be honest with the drug squad, how can I do the right thing by you? Give me names, Fergie. Names and faces, or I'll lock you up for attempted murder. If you're going to charge me, call my solicitor. Make a note of that, Sergeant. Mr. Fergus expressed the desire to communicate with his legal advisor. You little shithead. Oh, I'm not so small, really. After all, we take the same size in pants. You're an arsehole, Fergie. You feed kids just enough to get them hooked and then you leave them flapping in the bottom of the boat. They make their own decisions. You make Make a living out of other people's misery. <laughs> oh, Sergeant. I've really no interest in what you think of me. Huh? Well, what about your sister? I beg your pardon? You turn her on too, do you? <laughs> You're going to let this go You'd on? You'd give her a line or two, wouldn't you? Taste a smack now and again? Leave her out of this. She hasn't the faintest idea what I... Bullshit, Fergie. I've seen her. She's a wet little slag. She turns it on. Oh, for the you're boys. disgusting. She's 15 years old. 15? Christ, she's been at it for years then. You foul minded bastard. You just leave her she's alone. Got a she's got a vertical smile between the legs like a dentist. Come on, you man, Fergie. Sit down. Take Watch your head off. Touch your Sit head off. Down. You bastard. sister. Yeah, got a big reaction from Fergie. That's saying something. She's not a part of what he does, not the dealing. You should see her room. It's like a little princess lives there. Why don't you have a talk to her, see what you can find. 
Whatever's happened, she was there. She's a minor. We can't interview her without permission from next of kin. We're talking about a possible victim, not a suspect. Yes, sir. But the local station's involved. I'd feel happier if we could arrange for an independent third party to be present. Megan, we've all got to walk into rooms we don't want to walk in. Now, I think she's worth talking to. So you tell me, how do we do it? OK. I'll figure something out. Maybe I can take Fergie's pants back. Get out of here. Detective Sergeant Tui at this moment is on holiday in Hawaii. Can I help you? Boss, look, about this other thing. I know I screwed up badly, but the man went down, the room was cleared. Now, I know there's a lot of takers for senior sergeant, major crime, but I reckon right now I should stay with the job. Is that it? OK. Phone's ringing. Major crime, Renford. Yeah, full house here, mate. Well, plenty for the drug squad, bugger all for us. Yeah, he's here. Mungle tried to take a chunk out of one of our men, bloody cannibal. No, mate, you're welcome to him. All right, who was it? Come on. What bastard left these nappies on the desk? Come on. Haven't got the guts to stand up. Well, <laughs> All right, what do you want? What do you want me to say? Think about it. All right. Yeah. I was an asshole. I pulled rank on Laz to go through the door first. I was charged up. I was a bloody cowboy. It won't happen again. Good. Any word from the street yet? Danny boy and the deputy commissioner put in a special request for the skyboat song. I'd say it was a bit of crying and all. He understands, Jock. Give him that much. He's once a working copy himself, you know. Bullshit. It's true. Don't get the 12th floor by being a copper. He's a lawyer and so are you. I understand, Jock. Know how it works. Scratch for weeks and all you get is hemorrhoids and something breaks and you're in clover. I just want you to scratch a bit faster, that's all. By the way, he, your senior sergeant, distinguished himself in the line of duty this morning. All over the building, is it? I think BCI passed a chance to stitch up major crime. So how is Lockie? Not losing the plot, is he? Lockie's fine. On floor. The closer we get, the more obvious it is that we're dealing with crazies. From now on, I want special operations first in the door at level two raids and up. Old ground, Jock. They won't have a bar of it. New ground, Wally. There's something wrong when dealers carry elephant guns. None of my men are going to walk into that trap like that again. Meanwhile, I'll be on your desk. Copy to the deputy commissioner. Sorry, Jock. This time you take the knock. Next time, do it right. Hey, boss. Talk to me. Double bogey, I'm afraid. George reckons the Turks are bullshit artist. Why'd they finger him? I don't know. It was a waste of time. 
Anyway, as far as our Mad Mary's concerned, Forensic found a couple of grams of coke in the back of his car. He'll go down for three. But from our point of view, nothing. All right, uh, that releases you to help with Fergie. Get lucky to brief you. Some days you get to eat the beer. Film the trifecta is gonna pay zillions. What'd you do? You stick a pencil up its ass? Oh, mate, nothing so crass. We just took a baby for a swim, that's all. Round a dam for about three hours. <laughs> Friggin' Nag couldn't raise a whimper. What's the trifecta gonna pay? Yes! Right. You fell on your feet when you left, Fergie. Here you go, Yanni. Bagman's cut. Drink? Six and a half gorillas. Oh, wow, I love it. Hey, mate, I wouldn't go fleshing that around if I was you. Yanni, my man. You've done us proud. Yeah, well... You know, no, seriously, we... we couldn't have done it without. This way, if there's any investigation, I'm clean. No one's gonna suspect you, are they? Gonzo? You know, it's a good thing I like you, Yanni. Or else you might find yourself on Rye Backbridge with your legs cut off. You want to know why I left Fergie? Fergie's in a bad scene, man. See this? A baseball bat. I've still got broken ribs. I'm out of it. Who beat the shit out of you, Gonzo? I ain't no kid. I'll tell you one thing, they're animals. You watch your back, Laz. And here, buy a drink for the majors. On Gonzo. Jesus into your life. I've got enough trouble with men as it is. You should. Once you get to know him, it's worth it. Gets you through a lot of things. What sort of things? Nothing. Jackie, what did happen to Gonzo? You know what I'm talking about, don't you? I called him Godfrey after an old movie. And what happened to him? He left. Why? I don't know. Can I give you a lift? Okay. I do not remember a baseball bat. We found Gonzo. He's told us everything. You might as well corroborate the story. What story? They came after drugs, didn't they? 
The doorbell rang. Gonzo went to get it like always, only this time he got a smack in the face with a baseball bat. He doesn't remember much after that. What happened to you? Look, there have been a couple of heavy incidents, hmm? You see, I don't remember them specifically. Hey, you'd remember this one. These blokes were animals. Hmm. Tell us about your sister, Fergie. You must remember that. My sister has nothing whatsoever to do with this. Now, I have endeavoured to make this as plain as I can. I'm not saying another word until you call my lawyer. We already have. Well, where is he? Well, it's a little hard to get hold of. Bullshit. Try the county court. He's not in court. He's in rehearsals for next week's bar review. Oh, very amusing. Well, you suit yourself. But I'll let you know when he gets here. Well, we don't have enough. How long till the barrister gets here? Half an hour, at the most. Shit. Where's Megan? Lucky paid you. Want to bother with Gonzo? Well, you can get onto the racing and livestock squad. What, give him the money back? Nah, you wuss. That's for the Tassie cricket trip. Gonzo's a tough boy. And Fergie's no slouch. So what does that say about the jokers that did the money? Mm. All we've got left is the girl. Is my brother going to go to jail? I don't know. But it's serious, isn't it? Discharging a firearm at police. Yes, it is serious. What if there was a reason? Well, that would depend on what the reason was and whether we knew about it. Well, thanks for all the anyway. Jackie? Do you have anyone, family, friends you could go to? No. Look, I don't think you should be here on your own. I know something's happened and I think you need a bit of help with it. I'm fine, really. There are a few rotten people in the world, kid. And I think you've run into one of them. Do you want me to come in with you for a while? <laughs> Ah. Oh, it's okay, it's one of us. Sorry. Sorry, we anyway. No, no, nearly finished. Just got the kitchen to do. Anything? No. <sighs> Whoever lived here had a cleanliness fetish. Be lucky to turn up the old dust mite. <gasps> Just give us a few minutes. What's going to happen to me if Fergie doesn't come home? I'm not sure. But you wouldn't be left here on your own. You'd be looked after. I knew, you know. Fergie didn't think so, but I did. I mean, all those visitors at night. I used to think they were to do with the furniture or the shop. Then I started to figure things out. They weren't buying antiques. So... Why did he let them come here? 
Who? Yet who come here? It's okay. You don't have to say anything. I just want you to look at something. And if I'm right, just nod. <laughs> Is this the man who came here? Did he hurt you? <laughs> Was there anyone else with him? <laughs> Point one. We have a definite ID on the same guy who raped Kelly Morgan, an attack that happened after this one. And a name. Dennis. The one who told him to stop called him Dennis. Ring any bells for anyone? No. No. I've run it through the computer and the nickname file. No likelies as yet. Point two. There were three men involved in the attack. One was in control on the night and we presume was not there on Kelly's night. The impression is that he was older. Well, that fits. Didn't make sense, this fuckwit and his mate bombing the police off their own bat. But a third man, older. One of our tried and true psychos with a record as long as your arm. That does make sense. Point three, Fergie knows more about all of this. He saw them, knew them, quite possibly did business with them. Anything we can hold over his head? Well, I reckon that we should get lucky to wrap his nuts around his neck. I'd love to. These lawyers do any man. Come on, Lockie. Think of this morning, five hours ago. Came at you with an elephant gun. Scared the piss out of you. I'll get stuffed. I'm taking a mature view of that. We've all wet ourselves in the course of duty at some time. Hey, speak for yourself, mate. I think you're bottling it up, Lockie. The emotional trauma you suffered is a well-documented fact. And it's mandatory to see the police psychologist after a shooting incident. Well, I think you could go right off the handle any time. We all know that. And if we know it, so does Fergie. I wouldn't want to be alone in a room with you and the yellow pages if I was there, mate. Why don't we put them on the rack while we're about it? <laughs> right, let's do it. Hey, way to go, Mingzi. Yeah, well done. You haven't heard any of this. Any of what? It's happening, Goose. I put it to you that on the 17th of July this year, your paid employee known as Gonzo, I opened the door to three men, is that correct? We have evidence that he was assaulted and that they cracked his ribs with a baseball bat. Do you wish to comment on that? I further put it to you that one of these men, known as Dennis, went to your sister's room. He performed an act of gross indecency and raped her. Do you understand, Mr. Fergus? Do you wish to comment on that? Interview stopped at 1.05 p.m. so the coffee could be supplied to Mr. Fergus. You look after us, we'll look after you. you must be joking. You'll go on the Protected Witnesses program and your sister. New names, new identity, relocation. Wouldn't trust it as far as I could speak. I won't offer it twice. Couldn't sell it upstairs, you know it. If what you gave me was worth it, I couldn't. Look, I wouldn't live long enough to take you up on it. Now try making me a promise you can keep. OK, names, Fergie. The description of the three men. In return for which I guarantee that they'll drop the charges pending from this morning's arrest. I can't be fairer than that, Fergie. Give me names. Can't or you won't. Oh, Jesus! You don't know. Last call, Fergie. Deal. Or do we let you swing for attempted murder? I can't. Damn it, I can't. I'll see about that, Barrister.
job because of you. <laughs> it's your problem. No, mate. Your problem! See, I love my job. It's my life. Nothing I love more than taking assholes like you out of circulation. There's only one thing wrong with the force, is they don't forget shit like what happened this morning. So I'm out, I'm stuffed. My only way back in is through you. Well, then you are stuffed. If I'm going down, pal, you're coming with me. So, Fergie, you're a smart girl. Where do we go from here, eh? You could always let me go. It may be. You finger those mongrels. I take them out of your hair, I keep my job, you walk about that. You're not thinking this through, Fergie. You're going to be doing three to five years, right? Can you handle that? I'll live. You might. But what about your sister? Are you slow or deaf? You can't leave her out of this. She's in just as deep as what you are. Bullshit. You can't protect her out here. How are you going to do it from inside? Now forget about your enemies and any mongrels I might introduce her to. How long before one of your so-called friends picks up on her? And you know how it goes. First the smoke, a bit up the nose, oh. then in the arm. I mean, that's how you play it. That's your rules, Fergie. Well, she's 15, and that's when you get him, right? And how long before she's out on the street cracking it just to support Abbott? Because you won't be there. Look at this. 14 years old, right? Looks 50, what's left of her. And this. Two guys did that who really went to town. Look at her, Fergie. Look at her. And this. You should have seen this one. She was beautiful. Just beautiful. And this is the bastard that did it to them. Mr. Glidhill. Where's my client, Inspector? Which one, Mr. Gledhill? You have so many. Look, let me tell you, Brendan, I'm taking this very seriously. You've had Alan Fergus here since early this morning. Your time's up. I also want to know what time he first asked to see me. We tried to contact you, Mr. Gledhill, but uh, you weren't in court, you weren't in chambers. Had a bit of trouble tracking you down to St. Martin's Theatre. You explained your whereabouts to Mr. Fergus, but I don't think you believe this. It's my client here at present. Yes. Am I to be allowed access to him? Shortly. He's not in custody. He simply volunteered to give us certain information. We're in the process of taking a statement now. Look, it's not going to wash, Brennan. I intend to lodge a formal complaint. Senior detective. Sir. Take Mr. Gledhill down to the first floor, introduce him to an independent duty officer. He wishes to make a formal complaint. You better get your notes right, Brennan. You're going to cop a writ. This way, sir. And three men. Three men, we gave you that. Dennis, he was one of them. I got that too. Come on, Fergie, give me something I don't know. There was a... There was another one of a, a, a kid, a, a speed freak, and some older guy. Name? Look, I don't know. I've never seen him before. Give me a name, Fergie. Look, what are they know. calling? Well, how'd they know you? Well, I cut the other two some coke ones, a couple of foils of pink rock. I'm a, look, oh, I tell you, I don't know them. They're just buyers. You're bullshitting me, Fergie. Now talk. Where'd you meet him? Well, look, you don't understand. It's Jackie they'll do. Yeah. They said next time they'll let the dogs loose. They'll let them smell blood. Look, these guys are fucking animals. They'll tear her apart. You don't know how badly they'll bloody tear her apart. Well, look, what is this? What is this about? Look, I'm nothing. They're fucking lunatics. That's right. You don't want to know them. They're not going to be selling them. He's going to buy from them. They're out of their trade. That's right. Look, you know. That's right, Fergie. Talk to me. Jesus. It's not what this is about, is it? Shit! This is no drug squad inquiry. No, two coppers are dead. And you are the bastards who did it. Bitch. Now tell me! Bitch. That policewoman was 10 feet away when that bomb went off. She breathed in hot air, right? It cooked her from the inside out. And you know the bastards who did it. Now, I want them, Fergie. Now, you better make up mind who you're more scared of, son. Them 
on me. Oh, what can you do to me? What? What? I'm going to put the word out on you, Fergie. I'm going to make it my personal business to tell everyone that you talked. You told me everything. And by tomorrow, every snitch on the street's going to know about it. And how long do you reckon it's going to take them before they find out, huh? And they know where to find you. And Jackie. Don't they? You and I go back a long way, Fergie. <laughs> so listen to me and I'll give you the options for the last time. You're going to be charged with attempted murder, use of a firearm to prevent lawful apprehension, assault, and a heap of other backup charges. Hamburger with a lot, do you understand? We will not oppose bail, but a condition will be that you'll have to surrender your passport. And wherever you go in the country, we'll have the dogs on you 24 hours a day. And I'll personally broadcast your whereabouts onto the grapevine. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Trust me and I'll look after you. Or you're on your own. Well, you do what you have to do, Mr. Brennan. We're back in the jungle, Phil. See how long you last. This way, Mr. Gledhill. Downstairs, Mr. Fergus. Ah, I've lodged a complaint no about complaints. Just forget it. Take him down and charge him. He won't be opposing bail. You can have him home in time for dinner. What the hell's oh, going just on? Just shut up and do what you paid for, will you? You'll be hearing more about this. At three grand a day, I'm sure I will. What was that all about? Well, nothing much. You've been on deck three times today, Wall. It's a record. Yeah. Come on, what are you doing with her? Just putting him back on the street. Ah, oh, you're going to run the dogs on him for a while. Yep, yeah. 24 hours a day. I'll know exactly where he is, and so will a lot of other people. Here's my pot of honey, and when the bees come to the honey, I'll have the bastards. We're getting close, Wall. We're getting close. I'm beginning to smell blood. How is it you always ring me after your mum says no? Hmm? <laughs> OK, OK, if you need it, you need it. Mm -hmm. Who am I to stand in your way? Okay, good night, love. Yeah, I love you too. See ya. Where'd you get the photographs? Oh, just a few old ones we got from the homicide squad. Haven't we shaken the tree enough for one day? Oh, no, boss, I might hang around for a bit more. No, you come on with me. We go to the club. By the end of the night, you'll have told a hundred or so people that you face down Alan Fergus at the wrong end of an elephant gun and pissed yourself. By the end of the week, you'll be a hero. <laughs> so come and get shit faced. Diet Coke. <laughs> hey, anyone who can't talk Spanish and tap dance is a poofta. <laughs> 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 